Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome to a Tuesday video. Now I wasn't quite sure what I'm going to be doing video wise, especially for the next few days because I'm building this new studio setup. Like this is not what the finished article is. This camera is going to change positioning. We're going to get stuff in place to do the green screen. So this is not the finished article. There may be ways I will have like a camera on a moving gimbal type thing, uh, but I've got a lot of setting up to do. Lots of new equipment arriving, which has this has just arrived. So I've got to go and set that up. Oh, that's heavy. Uh, but yeah, I am spending a lot of time just like building that. So a lot of kind of content wise, I'm still making MCNs. There'll be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and anything that I need to cover, I will cover. But uh, I was just trying to think like what I could make very quick. Quickly. And I thought I'd just go over like a, a rank up video because it's a champion that I really like. It's been a quintessential thing on the champ uh, on the channel, and I just wanted to do it. Also, because I'm spending a bit of time rebuilding my stash, uh, which you can see right now. Like there's uh, there's a lovely little full energy refill there, and then I think if I've left it, yeah, there's a there's a revive there. So I'm currently rebuilding my stash in preparation for doing EOP. So it's kind of like good that I'm spending a bit of time away, kind of uh, rebuilding. Um, like how the studio is, getting the green screen sorted out, getting new lighting equipment, uh, figuring out microphone placements, how I'm going to be holding it when I'm doing green screen stuff. So yeah, just a, that's a quick overview of what's going on in the channel. But I'm live streaming a lot more here on YouTube. Did it yesterday. We'll be doing it today as well. But that's not the, the, the thing with the video. We're going to be going over one of my favorite champions, and that is Scarlet Witch OG, with a recent need for the champion to be uh, used Potentially in the uh, the Karina's Challenges Volume 3 with EOP. Uh, it does make me feel like I need to kind of rank up the champion and recently did that. Taking my Scarlet Witch OG all the way up to rank 3. Which, where the heck is she? She's going to be if I scroll down. It's probably best if I just sort by Mystics. That's always the way to, to go with it. So I wanted to take my new rank 3 version. I am thinking about doing a rank 4, but... Uh, I want to get a lot more signatures first before doing that. I'm kind of seeing where the the champion lies. With a 104 signature and a 59.97 chance uh, that she'll trigger Chaos Magic, which means she generates buffs or debuffs. I just want to take her out for a spin. Let's do that in this video. So what I'm doing right now is creating a team just to go into Realm of Legends just to kick off the video. I've got Scarlet Witch, obviously is the OG, my uh, newly ranked up. Uh, I, knew, I did think last video I did like, uh, I think I did a video on six star version. But I've never possessed the champion now. I possess the champion. Quicksilver with the synergy that uh, allows four. Um, when Vela Fortune triggers, 50% chance to gain a prowess buff. As we, we It was nerfed recently. I've then also got Scarlet Witch Sigil to allow for increased buff duration by 20%. Both those champions I have. One's in AQ, one's in AW. And I've got Jabari Panth in uh, for a ability power rate increased by 10%. And Wiccan in because critical damage rating is increased by 750 while launching a special attack 1 or 2. Obviously, we're going to do special attack 2. Um, let's see how it do. Over the top of this particular segment, I will be showing some Winter Soldier fight that I did. Uh, it's not the one I'm going to be referring back to as like an important one or kind of like the main thing for the video. But I just wanted to like like showcase this footage and talk about like how it was, how it kind of like felt. Especially going up against a champion where, you know, compared with like a version that had 200 signature, getting that chance of triggering the Chaos Magic and getting that critical hit is just really important it's it's good at this, at this moment in time so as we said a moment ago that the one that i'm using uh, whilst you know th throwing this on screen right now is a 104 six star at rank three and it has a close to 60 percent chance when critical a critical hit occurs to get that chaos magic that is an important factor even more so when you get that Wiccan synergy in place that Wiccan synergy does add a lot more to this particular interaction and just like fun time and, and, and stuff like that and there's some good numbers like I love my five star version because you're able to see like some great numbers from it but I think it's going to be when we kind of go to class advantage with uh, the Captain America fight or Captain America Cap, uh, Captain Marvel fight that you're going to see like a little bit kind of hopefully more beefed up and better. But definitely adding in that extra spiritual parents, which is that critical damage rating increase does help out with kind of give a little bit more punch to the champion, even more so obviously with the prowess and also with um, some of the other synergies in place. But I think we're going to see it in the next fight. So let's go to the Captain Marvel fight. So the Captain Marvel fight felt a lot better. And the one thing that I would say, again, it's just down to like the chance, regardless if I kind of like rushed into early when I was trying to punish the special attack. The point really from all of this is RNG very early on, it 
it, there was very much a telltale sign. As soon as I was not getting, and the dex, I think dexterity helped out a bit with kind of like amplifying. But as soon as that very early stage, I was like, oh, hang on a minute. Number one, I was not pinging off chaos magic that quickly uh, based on like the critical. I was getting crits, but I was not getting any chaos chaos magic based improvements from like buffs or debuffs. Yes, it was there, but it wasn't extensively there. It was only like midway through the fight that I was actually kind of feeling like maybe about 30 to 40 seconds into the fight. I was like, okay, well now we're getting, we're getting fury. We're getting uh, the, uh, the, the cruelty. We're getting regeneration. And that's amplifying with the prowess that we get with Quicksilver with as well the, uh, the Wiccan synergy with that, that kind of um, uh, critical damage. So it's like, it, it's all coming together, but I think it was the latter point of the fight. And it, that's, again, the telltale sign of the difference between uh, the Starridge. I'm still happy to see 168,000 damage, but I'm definitely thinking to myself, like, whilst I prepare for stuff like EOP, which is going to require for a lot of that Chaos Magic to really pop off for me, I'm like, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to need myself a, um, a higher, like, again, we, a higher kind of, like, signature for it. That close to 200 signature, I think is going to be invaluable. Is going to invaluable? Is that the word? No, value is definitely going to be valuable because um, you know the, the the more you crit, the more chance you get a buff, and the more chance you get a buff could be the more chance I pick up something like a regeneration buff, for example, which is going to save me uh, the, the trouble of of health potions. It may even save me going like, okay, great, I get a revive. Then it's like, okay, boom, I'm healing up like a regeneration. It's going to regenerate 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 me extensively. I would say as well, like, uh, the, the champion's great for things like Battlegrounds. I would take it in Battlegrounds, but um, I've actually rotated the champion out my deck, especially because you need so much of a consistency. Critical hits have a 90% chance uh, with this 5-star version, which I've currently got in. I should switch out for the 6-star version. But I definitely 100% need that. Because, <laughs> look, if, if I do 10 hits, the champion gets armor break, uh, armor um, up buff, and I'm not taking that armor up, then I'm starting to eat damage. And eating damage, personally, can be either, again, waiting for RNG of a regeneration to get you back up, topped up health, so you can then, you know, um, fight. It's it's good. I'm not, not knocking um, Scarlet Witch, because it is good. It's just a case of I've been stung using Scarlet Witch Classic before uh, in the uh, in Battlegrounds, so I'm going to maybe avoid that. Okay, one thing that I want to check right now is recovery. So I've got hit a little bit. I also want to see nullification. That's good because when you get a crit, you're able to nullify as part of the ability. And I did think that because it's, as I said a moment ago about consistency, I do want to see the champion, well, the enemy ping up something like an unstoppable armor up or whatever, and then kind of like come in and, uh, and kind of try to take it. That's another thing. But... Um, Trying to play aggressively. Yeah, I didn't take it. I didn't nullify. But that's the thing about the consistency around the uh, nullification. It's not always 100%. Uh, it works. What, what is it? What's that kind of um, saying from Anchorman? It works 60% of the time. It works every time. You know, it, it's that's that kind of like thing. That I'm going to rush in again. Well, I, I nullified the Fury, but I didn't nullify the uh, Unstoppable, of course. But also, it's interesting to note. Now, I'm gonna, am I going to come back for regeneration? Because that's the other thing as well. Coming back from a low health pot and um, low health pool, that would be interesting as well. I think it'll probably go to the next fight. We'll try and see about like the ticks per regeneration and when it comes back. Because a lot of the time you're waiting around for that. Does it come back? Bit of class disadvantage action for you. There's a nice chunky amount of damage that just went in. And of course, I'm waiting around for uh, what I hope to be, which I don't know if it's gonna if it's going to come in or not. The regeneration because that's the other thing isn't it i need regen so let's hope with the regen that comes in because i can do damage i could do lots of damage right now it just seen what the recovery is because that's the other thing i love about uh, scarlet witch is the og one is recovery when things the chips are down you can do stuff like well, you can do stuff like that. You can do 300, 300k damage right there. Um, no regeneration tick um, recovery. Just yet. 
Okay, another fight's done and no regeneration just yet. I am very much looking to recover my health. I want to see those ticks. As I've now gone through so many fights and the regeneration buff has not popped up, I think it's just very weird. And I don't know whether or not sometimes that is bad RNG or that's something that, you know, Kabam just go, we're not going to give you the regeneration. I think I saw previously in some previous fights, it was like about 500 per tick, uh, which is still very good. I think that some stage, sometimes you do get very lucky and you can like double scale that one. I'm definitely looking forward to using the champion to uh, to kind of go into EOP but also looking to do incursions when it re-rolls I'm probably going to record some footage and do some stuff with uh, with that I'm also interested in maybe looking at adding something to the champion when it comes to a relic and whether or not I do similar because the champion will build sometimes a lot of power power still and stuff like that adding in the scarlet witch relic relic to um that particular interaction and taking off of the likes of uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant may be uh, an interesting combination. I'm definitely going to do more content on relics. I'm just not overly interested with it as a, as a thing that's being forced on the community. But in any case, like that's just been a little video that I'm going to get back to working on this studio setup and I'll see you in the live stream a little bit later on today. So thanks very much for, for coming by to this uh, video and I'll do some stuff on EOP uh, once I've got my stash ready and once I'm ready to go. But yeah, thanks very much for watching. Check out some other content located on screen right now. If you like the video, hit the like button and I'll see you all soon. Much love and goodbye.